When you're beginning a treatment on a painting, one of the first things you would do after your technical investigations would be to test the solubility of the varnish layer and to try to understand the safety margin of removing something that's on top of original paint. Trying to establish what is the best solution to remove the varnish layer while not affecting the original paint in any way. To do that, we would test a range of solvents in small spot tests covering all the different pigments that you see on the painting and covering all the different areas where the paint has been treated in different ways. After selecting the safest possible solvent to remove the varnish, the treatment moves on to removing it in small areas at a time using cotton swabs. What we look for when we're removing the varnish is to see what's coming off on the swab and to inspect the surface of the paint after you've removed what you've removed. The particular varnishes that are on this painting, as can be seen on the swabs coming off, have really discoloured and they've become quite yellow and quite grey over time. You can see in the areas where it has been removed what a difference it makes to the tone of the painting in general. When the varnish is covering the entire surface, it may not be that obvious, but once you see what the paint layer is like without the varnish on it, you can see that there's a, a very big difference in brightness and in saturation and in colour in all of those areas that have been cleaned. Once you remove that varnish and once you address the losses that are there in the painting, the next step is to replace the varnish with a new varnish that's clear and that gives you a more realistic idea of what the colours of the paint that the artist applied are. 